Number 68. Identify the type of crystalline solid, whether it's a metallic, a network covalent, ionic, or a molecular crystalline solid that's formed by each of the following substances, and in this case we have NH4F, which is ammonium fluoride. Now I did write a little cheat sheet down here uh, for you guys to memorize for your next test or quiz if this material is on that, um, and I guess we'll just start from left to right. Now you just got to memorize the four different types of crystalline solids. The first one here is a metallic crystalline solid. Would NH4F be a metallic crystalline solid? Well, the word metal is in the word metallic. So in order to have a metallic crystalline solid, you would just see a single metal. For example, you would see like copper, Cu. That would be a metallic crystalline solid or just iron, Fe. But here, I don't have any metals. Nitrogen, hydrogen, and fluorine, those are all nonmetals. So, can't possibly be metallic. Let's move on to ionic. Now, ionic covalent, uh, ionic crystalline solids come from ionic compounds, right? All the way back in the beginning when we learned ionic compounds. They are either metals plus nonmetals or if you spot out any of your polyatomics. Now, like we just said, nitrogen, hydrogen, and fluorine are all nonmetals. So it won't come from the metal plus nonmetal format because I don't have any metals here. However, I do spot out NH4, right? From memorizing polyatomics or just referencing them, NH4, remember NH4 plus, that's ammonium. This is the ammonium ion, and that is a polyatomic. So this has its charges of NH4 plus and F minus. As soon as you spot out a polyatomic, it is automatically a ionic uh, compound, even though there are no metals in here. But polyatomics are a little tricky, so don't let them trick you. All right. So this one was a tricky one. Probably, since they gave you all nonmetals, you were thinking it would be a molecular crystalline solid for those nonmetals. But those polyatomics give those charges. And once you have charges, it's an ionic compound. So this would be a ionic crystalline solid. And that's the end for this video. Let's just box this off and call it a video. This looks pretty good in the center. Beautiful. And that's it. I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Just gets the word out there that this channel exists. And I hope you're doing well out there. Let's keep studying hard. I believe in you guys. Good luck on those tests and quizzes. And I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.